All right, guys. So this is um, a video to show you a different way to set up uh, your servo winch. Uh, the last video that I showed you, um, pretty much told you that uh, your potentiometer needed to be glued, glued down, and um, so it wouldn't move. And then that'll give you the more stable winch. Uh, even while doing that, you still have to play with your trim because every once in a while, uh, when you turn your transmitter off and on it'll start glitching, it'll start kind of like doing the little walk which is not good because your winch could start pulling and just pull the cable all the way back and start breaking stuff um, this right here is kind of like a version 2 of what you can do now you wanna, you're going to want to put two resistors in here they're going to go on the three wires that usually go to your potentiometer, your pot those three wires they go exactly the way you see them there. Okay, center to center, side to side, blah blah blah. All right, the way you want to wire these guys is you put two leads in the middle, you know, meeting with each other, and then the other ones on the outside. Pretty straightforward, nothing fancy about it. Uh, resistance numbers. Uh, these are resistors, so of course you want to look at how much resistance you want to put on them. Uh, these that I'm using right now are actually 2.2 KOHM, which is kilo ohms, I guess. Uh, I also tried a 3.3. Uh, I went back to the 2.2 because I was getting the same exact results and um, decided that I would do um, the 2.2 because they were a little bit smaller. Now, with this setup, you're still going to have to play with your trim but not as much because it's so you can see put this here so you can see the teeth moving so you can see it'll still try to keep creep every once in a while but it's just not as much as it would do before I want to help I know you want to help baby let me just finish this okay okay so okay. <clears throat> like I said uh, Two positive sides of doing it this way is uh, first one, of course, is going to take less space. You can get rid of your potentiometer if you want to use your winch to where you cut some of the servo off so you don't have that big of a unit. If you want to put the shaft through the middle, like I did with my other uh, servo, to do the transmission for the sumo crawler and actually put the reel, reel, ah, the reel in here so that you can start pulling your cable in here instead you can do that as well because that potentiometer won't be in there so you don't really have to go with the reel outside here like we usually do I'm actually going to turn this one into another winch where the reel will be inside to show you guys what it looks like it's just a little cleaner I mean you put the cap on this side uh, this you can always route somewhere else I'm thinking about just putting it on top of the servo but um like I said, it's just a cleaner look. You'll have the wire coming into here, the body of the servo, not sticking out out there. And uh, it's just a little less glitchy than what it would be with the, um, with the potentiometer. Now, the glitching comes from the actual resistance on these guys. Uh, whereas the glitching will come from your potentiometer moving around and also the resistance that comes from it itself. So not having that guy bump around when you're you know playing with your rig will give you a lot better results with this guy like I said you can use 2.2 you can use 3.3 uh, I've heard that they've been using all the way up to 4.7 the issue with uh, going so high is because they have more resistance in there uh, your actual board has to work a little bit harder because it's consuming more power to actually use those guys so like I said I try to go with the lowest I could so I would use as little power as possible to do its function so I went with 2.2 kilo ohms so it's pretty much it I mean on the last video I showed you how to do the winch and this one it's just a little thing you can do to it uh, by the way it is a pain in the butt to solder those in there so good luck with that anyways hope this helps you guys out thanks